All right. An overexposed Saturn. Cool. Alrighty, well, hello there. Here we are on Monday, August 23rd, 2021, at 10.37 p.m. up here in Northeastern Ohio. Now that we have that out of the way, <laughs> we came out later tonight to try to get Saturn. And if we wait long enough, we'll be able to get uh, Jupiter once it gets out of the trees. And at the moment, we have a very overexposed Saturn. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but Titan is down about the 7 o'clock position from the ring one. But let's um, change up here. There we go. That looks like a pretty decent shot of Saturn. Let me try to get a clip of this. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so far, looks like Saturn's coming in pretty good of what I can see out here. Hopefully the uh, aligning and stacking will come out. But while this camera's recording, I'm going to go get the uh, Canon R8 camera to get the wide field of view. So I'll be right back and we'll let this run here. Hang on now. Alrighty, there we go. We finally got the other camera set up so we can get the uh, wide field of view. And we can see that Saturn is the one off to the right of that willow tree. It finally emerged. And Jupiter is the uh, light that you'll see popping in and out that's uh, behind the tree. So it'll be a while yet before it uh, comes out from behind the tree. And there is a 97% moon following behind all those guys. So we're facing south right now for Saturn. And it's up about... Oh, 25 degrees above the horizon, so it should be coming in better, and hopefully Jupiter will be too. Much better than the uh, footage I've been getting when it's been rising and low on the horizon. I have to admit, it is so great to finally see Saturn again. I think it's been about a good month since I last captured it. And as usual, I have all the equipment listed down below in the description area, along with links, like I do for every video. But um, this zoom footage is with the Canon R camera and the RF 800 lens and the 2x extender. And we are using a Skywatcher tracking mount and recording onto the Atomos Ninja Flame, the 7-inch monitor recorder. And we are at 10x of the uh, focusing zoom. Yeah. And over on the wide field of view, we have the Canon R8 camera. And what lens do we have on there? We have the uh, 35 to 150 on there. I'd rather you see a uh, 70 to 200. It's a nicer lens, but I just grabbed and rolled out with this one since it was attached trying to keep an eye on the other camera to find out how far along uh, Jupiter is in the trees. All right, and there we go. We can see three of the moons of Jupiter in the overexposed shot. But let's try to get the planet itself in. Ah, sweet. That looks like it's coming in much better than the previous nights. I have to get a clip of this. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's looking pretty good tonight. It's too bad we don't have the uh, great red spot in view tonight. It must be around on the other side. And over on the uh, wide field of view, we can see how far spread apart that Saturn is from Jupiter. And Saturn is one over to the right and Jupiter closer to the tree. And like I said before, the Moon's off to the left of both of them. And it's buried behind the willow tree also. So. Oh, this is sweet. I really hope these clips come out so we can get a decent uh, stacking. 
I'm not very proficient with the software used for aligning and stacking, especially when using Windows programs because I use a Mac and I have to use Parallels for Mac and Windows 10 and oh my. So we use PIP, AutoStacker and Registax in Windows to, uh, to do it. Anyway, I'm glad I got them at this time because we have fog rolling in and uh, it'll be foggy the rest of the night and into morning so I think we caught them just in time. Anyway, I hope you all have a great new week ahead here. It's now 11.03 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. See y'all take care. Bye now. Love it.